Here are just a few tips for navigating the contents of a Power BI report. There is often a lot more information in a report than that which appears on the screen. I am using a Power BI report which contains Aberdeen Harbour arrivals data and will be showing you around using the Power BI service. Let's get started. I'm going to concentrate on this table here, often referred to as a matrix table. As you can see, there's different ports here from which goods came into Aberdeen. And if I would like to filter the entire page to show just goods from Leith, I can select the Grow Leith and the whole page updates to filter. To see everything again, all I need to do is click on the row and everything returns. Alternatively, I can just click anywhere outside that row in the diagram and everything will be restored. But it's not just the rows we can filter this page by. Perhaps we want to see everything relating to 1915. All we need to do is click the column and the page updates. Now, as you may have noticed, as I'm hovering over this table with my mouse, symbols are appearing across the top. And I'd like to walk you through what some of these symbols mean. And to do that, I'm going to start with this one called focus mode. And if I click that, you will see it's taken us to a larger view of the table. At this side here, we have got the plus sign to indicate there's something sitting below. And when we click, we can see that it's cargo that sits here. This is often referred to as having a hierarchy, whereby you've got one item sitting beneath another. We click to go back up. What we can also do is click on this double down arrow. And when we click this, what is going to happen is it's going to move from showing it by port to showing it by cargo because cargo was the next level in our hierarchy. So click the double down and we can see now that we're now seeing the cargo. We click the up arrow to go back up the level of the hierarchy and see the table as it was previously. Now, if you wanted to see everything that was in the table, you could go through and click all the plus signs and it would all expand. But an alternative way of doing that here is to click this split arrow and it will expand the entire table. If you want to collapse everything again, all you need to do is click the up arrow and you're back up to the start. Now, perhaps you would find it interesting to take one of the diagrams that's in your report and put it into another format. Perhaps you want to put it into a Word document or a PowerPoint slide. To take an image of the table, all you need to do is click that symbol there and it creates a copy of it ready to be input into whichever location you, you require. The three dots, the ellipse, also provide some additional information. Here we have the ability to export the data and we can export everything in the table in Excel format or in a CSV format. Now, if you notice at the moment, then the numbers here are in descending order. So the largest down to the smallest. If we want to change it such that the smallest at the top, we just click sort by ascending and the table will change. We can also change how we're sorting the table. So at the moment, the table is being sorted by the count of the vessel being the largest, so now the smallest to the largest. But if instead we wanted it to be say an alphabetical order here, we can change to changing by the port name, and this updates. Now perhaps you're somebody who likes more detail and you would like to know what is making up some of these numbers. To do that, all you do is right click on the figure and select show data point as a table. And from here, you're taken to a new screen 
which provides the detail that you've requested. So here we have our 14 rows making up the 14 total. And from here, you can sort any of these columns in ascending or descending order. So maybe we want the vessel master in alphabetical order, or maybe you want to put things in date order. As we've been playing about with this table, it's no longer in its original format. And if you would like to go back to how it looked, all you need to do is click this yellow button here and it will reset it back to the original format. I'd like to now concentrate on these two bar charts here. And as I hover over them, you will see that there's different symbols. This one has got the down arrows, this one doesn't. So what that means is for this one, the number of visits to the harbour, there is effectively another bar chart sitting behind this bar chart that you are seeing. Whereas for this one, there isn't. But I'm going to demonstrate a few things, first of all, using this table. For instance, you may prefer to see these numbers in a table rather than having them across the top of the bars. So if you to do that, all you need to do is right click and select show as a table and you're taken to a new screen, and down here is your table of actual figures. Back to our report. Again, you can filter the page based on the selection. So if you select the bar, the page filters to show information only relating to that selection, and click again to restore everything on the page. Now to this one, it's got the extra um, functions. Again, I'm going to select auto focus to take us to a bigger view. As you can see, it's the years which is sitting along the bottom of the bars at the moment. If we click the double down arrow, that changes the view such that it's months that it shows along the bottom of the bars. So this means it was a month's chart that was sitting behind the year chart. An important point to note here is where you see this 22224 for January, that is all the Januaries it is finding in the data set. So that is the total of January 2014 plus January 2015 plus January 2016 all the way up to January 20. If we want to go back up to the year, all we do is click the up arrow. The split arrow provides an alternative view which is broken down into year and month. So we have January 14, February 14, all the way up to December 1920. Again, to go back to the year, you just click the up arrow. But perhaps for 1914, you would rather see this broken down into its constituency months. In that case, all you do is right click on the bar and select drill down. And then we have the figures for each month. So this time, this 256 that you're seeing, that is only the count for January 1914. No other years are brought into that figure. So that concludes a very quick walkthrough of just a few functions in Power BI. I hope this video helps you go forth and explore more content.